Thank you for allowing me to share my passion for music and hope with you today. I want to take you back to my freshman year of high school, first period Spanish class. Whew. The leaves are changing outside, and that summer breeze is turning to a cool autumn chill. You hear all the kids bustling in, putting down their backpacks, the bell rings, and we sit in these lovely wooden chairs. And we look at the chalkboard, right? And we're learning really important phrases like, me llamo Felipe, my name is Phil. Donde esta la biblioteca? Where is the library? Will I actually ever use that? Anyway, my Spanish teacher, Mrs. Sanescoy, walks up and she says, Felipe, I need you to get your things and move to the office. Your parents are here. And I'm like, wait, what? What? Did I forget like a dentist appointment? Or like is my lunch down here? So I walked down and I saw my mom was crying and my dad was really nervous and they told me my best friend Jeff took his own life the night before. And this left a rippling effect on me, my family, his family, and the whole community. Fast forward to today, I'm a therapist working with kids, teenagers, adults, even seniors that struggle with anxiety, depression, and suicidal thoughts. If you feel like you've fallen into a deep, dark hole and you're asking, what's the point? Does it even really matter? Or you feel like you're all alone, you're not. Music is hope. Feel so low. Won't let go. You can do this. I know you can. Feeling lost and all alone. Like you can't do this on your own. How much lower can you go? There is hope. Let the night come shining in. Get back up. Music has been around for thousands of years. Some music experts believe that the first musical instrument was the human voice, and the first song was a mother cooing to her baby. And modern day research tells us that babies can distinguish a sad song that is hopeless from a happy song that is hopeful. David sang songs to the Lord of his pain and his suffering as well as his comfort and joy. Country, rhythm, and blues brought us down to earth while jazz helped us dance away our Great Depression. But what is your sound of hope? Is it something upbeat like this? Or maybe it's a little more like this. 
quiet. For me, the sound of hope was rock. Feet stomping, hands clapping, screaming guitars. Oh, there you go, as we punched a hole in the sky. <laughs> Music can lift us up, calm us down, but what's really going on? when music hits the brain. We got three chemicals that hit the brain when you listen to music. Number one is oxytocin, which helps you feel all your emotions and regulate them. Next is endorphins, which helps you ease your pain. And then we have dopamine, which gives us a rush to the pleasure centers of our brain, like this. Music is hope. Well, why is this important? If you want to be more productive at work, listen to some music, like Mozart. If you want to calm down your anxious mind, listen to some music, like meditation or heart music. And if you want to get ready for that big game, get your game face on, listen to some rock or some metal. And if you're sad, find yourself a positive song, because it just might save your life. So how can we use music in our day-to-day -day life? Well, I have a challenge. Young people, kids, teenagers, adults, I want you to pick one song. Yeah, pick one song. Not a playlist, not an album, just one song to be your power anthem. Something to lift you up. And I want you to listen to this song every day, in the morning maybe, or in the evening for a week. Let's pick something positive, upbeat if you can, or at least not too dark. Not, no misery music, please, okay? No misery. Adults, I have a challenge for you as well. I want you to listen to your kids' music. Uh-oh, but the beats are so weird and the lyrics are provocative. Well, you know what? We listened to weird beats and provocative lyrics back in the day, right? So listen, and we got three ground rules here. No judgment, no criticism, have an open mind. And then it's payback, playback. You can play your songs for them. And you might just have some bonding over music. When I was a kid, I would spend hours in my music sanctuary, in my room. And I would worship at the altar of the turntable. I would go and look at all the images of the greats on the walls and the ceiling of my chapel. Motley Crue, Journey, Led Zeppelin, U2, in excess. And I would go over to my altar of the turntable and I would pull out that sacred disc and I would put it up on the turntable and the needle hits the groove. Sweet, sweet scratch of vinyl. And it would call to me. It would speak to me. And I need you to sing with me. But first, let's get a beat. There you go. All right. If I sing yo, I need you to sing back. Ho. Oh. Let's try it. Yeah. Oh. 